Hello and welcome to the season three finale of the I Feel You podcast. Um, this is a big one. This is uh, season three, my favorite number, as I stated at the beginning of the season. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's really exciting to be here where we are now. Um, we're going to make a lot of changes for the next season, so I'm excited for you guys to see those really great changes that I think you all are going to love. Um, but yeah, this episode is a little bit different than most, so if you're watching this for the first time, uh, this is a special episode. This is our New Year's Eve special, part two. Last year for the season one finale of the show, we asked some PF members and artists uh, a few questions with the intention of asking them those very same questions the next year. And this is them reacting to what their answers were a year ago and also giving their answers now. So I think it's pretty fun. It was really cool to see everybody's responses, really funny moments um, and really heartwarming moments. Yeah, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. If you've been watching the show, thank you so much for watching and thank you for supporting. Um, you know, we, we got our numbers from the, the past year. We got our statistics and, you know, we're analyzing them or whatever, doing data, data stuff or whatever. But um, I think the most uh, heartwarming thing is when people reach out and they say that how much they enjoyed an episode um, or say that they want to be on the show. So uh, that, that means a lot to me. And, um, you know, we're working hard at this and uh, it, it really helps to, to hear those things. Thank you to Project Fuel for supporting this and pushing it and producing it and making it something that I can be proud of and that everyone around us can be proud of. Um, yeah, I really think you're going to enjoy this episode. And if you did, please, of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, like the episode on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, share it with your friends, please share it on all social media, whatever you can. Um, and just let me know how you felt about it. You know, that's, that's also really cool when people reach out and stuff. And yeah, that's also helpful. Um, give us your feedback if you have any, um, that means a lot as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and enjoying and, uh, enjoy the episode. Mr. Ryan J. Garcia. Hi, yeah. How's it going, man? I'm all right. You What's know, up? I'm cold. Yeah, you cold, bro. Yeah. You look cold. Dog. <laughs> Dog. It just got cold out of nowhere. It's like, it was Everything too. was like 50s, 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 20s. <laughs> Mad dumb. But I'm here. Trying and to snow. It was like snow brought it in, too. Yeah. The day I'm, that it was like mm, 20s was like when snow. When snow comes, that's when like my deep depression starts. <laughs> that's when I just don't Fair. go outside True. anymore. <laughs> like, True. fuck this. Okay. <laughs> Well, welcome. Thanks for Thanks, coming man. back. Of Third course, time. Brother. Appreciate you. And the always. new place. Yeah, and the new place. Um, yeah, yeah. First question we're going to ask you is, how are you feeling? You're going to go ahead and press play on that real quick. How are you feeling? Um, overall, I'm always feeling good. I can never complain. Um, but I've been feeling, is transitional a word? Transitional. Can be. It can be now. Um, I've been feeling like transitional at time, if that <laughs> makes sense. Um, during like the last three months, like during these holiday times, being over here has hit me harder than ever. Cause I'm like, oh shit, like I'm really here. Yeah, any Caribbean and like Hispanic, everybody gets together during the holidays. It's like the, the only time that you see some family members like twice in the span of 30 days is during the holidays. So like dealing with that has been really interesting. But I'm always feeling good. I'm always appreciating everything. Yeah. Make a pause. Hell yeah. Um, shit. I guess the same kind of. I'm always feeling good. <laughs> but I guess the difference now is um, I've accepted this year that I can complain and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I like, that. like you say, I'm good. I can't complain. It's like I'm good, but I absolutely have complaints. <laughs> <laughs> like I have a fucking list of complaints, but I'm overall good. <laughs> Um, but like that's, that's I'm like not feeling uh, very transitional this year at all. I feel pretty settled um, mm. and grounded in what I'm trying to do. I feel like um, a lot of things were accomplished this year to get to that. Um, still about to move again, though. So I guess there is some yeah. transition. But, you know, <laughs> we'll find it. <laughs> it's funny. The In the span of a year, I feel like you had the story of, like, growing up. Like, Dog. <laughs> I'm good. All nothing complained about. And then you just like, you just keep going, and you you find things. <laughs> like really yeah, it's like all right, like, this like, pretty this like, fucking sucks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do better? <laughs> like what the fuck? That's that's fucking hilarious. Okay. Oh yeah. Um. Next question. Mm. Uh. What was the best thing 
you discovered this year? <laughs> <laughs> I remember this response. You remember this last yeah. year? Absolutely. Go to your local deli. <laughs> Whatever bagel you prefer. Whether it's plain, everything. Blueberry is a good one. Ask for a toasted bagel with cream cheese, crispy bacon, and grape jelly. <laughs> It is the best thing that I've discovered this year. I've had all of those things individually, but together, it's it's the best thing I've discovered this year. I felt it was so philosophical. It's still super valid, though. Like, that shit is bussing. Like, no one thinks about putting that shit together. Every single person I've told is like, what? But then they try, and they're like, hmm. Yeah, I mean, especially yeah. like when you smoke, when you smoke and eat that, it's yeah. like the combination of everything. Yeah. I think um, this year, this year, it's not food related. This is more personal, but mm -hmm. um, I guess to do more for myself than others without like feeling that selfishness, that like toxic selfishness that mm -hmm. comes with like just doing things for yourself. It's like an oxymoron, but. I feel like when you do more for others, it makes you more selfish in a way because like you're doing it for like wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. You're not doing it for like pure reasons for like actual self. You're not like self-aware about why you're really doing it for you. Um, and then you, you kind of just get caught up in a bunch of shit with it. So yeah, just um, be gracious, love yourself and do more for yourself. And like the love from others will come from that, you know? Mm. That's deep bars. That's deep. <laughs> Bagel's still bussing though. Bagel's still bussing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. <laughs> We're still the same. All right. Uh, your last question. Your third question. Final. Mm. What is the, <laughs> what is the last text that you sent? Um, oh the last God. text that I sent out was uh to you, Hector, and it said um. Give me that dick. I'm just not saying. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, it says, uh, yo, we're downstairs. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, here. You said we're downstairs. Yeah. A drastic difference. Uh, I think the last text that I said was, uh, we're on the way. And then um, y'all said not to like ring the doorbell. And I said, I'll just throw Fran through the window. Just open up the window <laughs> and just save you all the time. Which y'all didn't do. I feel like that's a lack of belief. But, yeah, that was a good opportunity. You know, yeah, it's to all see, good. To see. Yeah, I could have really showed out like other things I'm <laughs> capable of, but, you know, we'll work towards that. New year. Toss her, <laughs> toss her through the window of the third floor. Is the third yeah. floor. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm about to lead the fucking New York firefighters. The saving city. One building at a time. <laughs> toss a firefighter through the fucking window. I'll save your child. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. All right, bro. Well, Hell yeah. thank you for being on the show once Ball's again. Ball's life. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Francesca. What's up, bro? Thank you so much for being on the show again. Um, for my third appearance. Yes, yeah, your third appearance. Oh, Pretty wild, huh? Here. Pretty wild. Yeah, bro. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, no, I hate, I no, hate being here. I think, I think almost everyone has been, has on, been on three, three times. times. At least twice at this point. I mean, at least twice. Wow. Cool. All right. Um, yeah. The first question we're going to ask you is how are you feeling? Man, you know, can I? Yeah. You're going to go ahead and press play. I'm, I'm actually feeling so good. Life is, life is good. Like I'm used to letting my lows take over my every day, but I'm just realizing that lows are lessons and mm -hmm. <laughs> Life is great. I feel good, man. That's beautiful. I'm yeah. so I'm very... <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not that far off. Okay. Um, I feel good. I'm not that happy, though. I don't know <laughs> what happened that thing, or that day. I think I got dicked down or something because, <laughs> because wow. I was happy. No, um, but that's cute. That's cute. Um yeah i feel the same i feel good like mm -hmm. it's been what a year or two that i've been in new york now i think i'm mm -hmm. like that's what that was i'm in like the honeymoon stage of being like newly in new york i think but yeah i feel the same i feel good okay 
Yeah. Good. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Long winded ass resume. answer to say that I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> We're both talking too much in that one. Though. Okay. Um, so the next question is, who did you get to know more this year? That'd be an interesting one. I don't even remember who I said. I mean, other than myself, because I feel like, like I get to know myself more and more every year mm. to like a crazy degree. Mm-hmm. I would have to say Brandon mm. Williams Garcia. Like we figured out, I feel like we've always <laughs> known, but we figured out that we have like the same thinking like we think a lot the same there's a lot of situations in our lives that are very similar but yeah i love that guy he's creative and amazing and i can't wait to get to know him more that's That's beautiful i didn't expect that answer yeah that's so crazy because we hate each other now we're no longer (laughs) no just kidding no (laughs) um yeah i still love him very much and we get to know each other just as much as we did back then to answer it for now though that's so crazy that i said myself first Mm -hmm. in the beginning of that answer um because i knew that you were going to ask me this but i just Mm. didn't know who i said before Mm. um and it's a hundred percent myself like i have gotten to know myself on a level that's like make or break bro like i have i know what the lowest of the low is now and i know that i'm like strong to get through that shit so yeah nice yeah okay yeah now for sure it's confidently that answer. no nice. yeah that's great yeah without that's a cool. doubt without a doubt i've nice. gotten to know myself on a visceral level and that's fucking cool that is very cool yeah, yeah that's a good answer all right is there another one? Oh uh, yeah there's one more question <laughs> <laughs> you're not out the gate yeah god damn a... it get me out of here <laughs> oh sorry get me out of here the, uh, <laughs> the third question is oh it's pretty okay what song slash album got you got you through this year hmm You know, I was just talking about this. I don't know what's going on, but this past year has been really hard for me to listen to music. Oh my God, same. I haven't (laughs) been like, I'm the type of girl that if I hear a song that I really like, I will go back into that person's discography Mm -hmm. and listen to all of the albums like from the beginning Mm -hmm. and i haven't been able to do that but an album that i find myself always going back to has to be frank ocean's uh channel orange Mm -hmm. um i always go back to channel orange and pyramid specifically like that song just puts me in a place where i'm like (laughs) I have no worries. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a stripper Mm -hmm. in the pyramids right now. (laughs) I am putting my panties on in front of the mirror. That's a good answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Funny enough, when you said that the the music thing and how you keep going back, like, that was me this year, actually. Yeah? Listen to much less music. It was just the same songs, like, over and over again. Yeah. um, I've been going through that for, like, the past three years. This is, like, Mm. my third year that it's been kind of, like, hard to consume music. But like I said in the previous previous answer, I've been learning about myself a lot. Mm-hmm. And not to uh, suck my own balls, but, <laughs> but the album that's been getting me through my life right now is my own. Mm. Is my own album. Like the music that I am making right now. Um, and that's been a development as, like, as of a couple months now. Um, yeah. The music that I'm making for this EP right now, I've been making for like fucking years. Yeah. So yeah. I just want, I've been listening to it over and over and over and over again because I want this chapter to be fucking closed already. Over. Mm-hmm. And it feels good that that's about to come. So yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. so great. That's yeah, really dude. Cool. I do need to listen to more yeah. music though. I have. Mm-hmm been listening to a lot of project field music oh nice a lot yeah when are you releasing that's cool <laughs> yeah soon eventually yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. no actually i can't so, yeah, keep listening to six feet up. over and over again bro uh, yeah i literally i stopped being able to listen to that song when it came out i, I haven't like, I can't do it anymore that's i haven't great. stopped i'm glad you're my only i think listener. you have like two thousand <laughs> li- like listens on there all Not me even. bro <laughs> <laughs> all me that's and christine hilarious. christine um yeah, no, that's. I feel like everybody's about to drop yeah, pretty aggressively soon. Like, all if this next that. year is going to be pretty crazy for mm-hmm. music, which is pretty nuts. Mm-hmm. Pyramids is still one of the greatest songs of all time. Oh, yeah. And another album, Watching Movies with the Sound Off. Mm. By who? Mac Miller. 
Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think he released that in 2018 or something like that. It was beautiful. Mm. Beautiful cool. album. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back. Anytime. Making your return. Anytime. Yeah, we'll see how we're doing in a year. All right. See if you come back. I think I just got fired. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> that whole first three minutes was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Do we have an HR department? Franco Cologne. What am I looking at? <laughs> Hello. Now you can hey. look over here. Um, what's up, dude? How you doing? Good, man. You know, just living life, dude. Yeah, dude. The older we get, just the crazier <laughs> this roller coaster seems to <laughs> to get as well. True. So, All right. Well, uh, the first question we're going to ask you is yes. uh, how are you feeling? Well, Go you know. Play wow. that first. <laughs> <laughs> Pop see, how, see how you react to that. <laughs> Mr. Franco Cologne. Hi, do you want me to look in the camera? No, you can look at me. <laughs> hey. And then look at the camera. And then look at me. And then look up. How are you feeling? <laughs> Lately? How are you feeling? Right now, like I'm doing fine right now. But usually, the last two weeks, three weeks, I've been alright. Care to elaborate? Sure. Or? Yeah. It doesn't have to be in detail, just whatever you want me to share. Well, how how like am I am I like allowed to be vulnerable? You have one you? minute. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Yeah. Is that, please, am I allowed be... to be vulnerable? You have one minute. <laughs> You're allowed to be vulnerable, yes. As okay. vulnerable as you feel comfortable with, okay? Um well I would say that th for the uh, I would say for like about a month now, I've been feeling um a bit, you know, I I guess the best word to describe it would be like stagnant or <laughs> plateau. Do I do this like all the time? Like words. I know that's not an adjective, but um, I feel like Candy. The, huh? Go. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel like um, I'm at a at this place, you know, not necessarily in a bad way, but just like <laughs> at a place where I'm like getting older. And I'm having to come with, to terms with a lot of new things in my life and a lot of new characteristics or traits that I've kind of taken on. And I'm just trying to, like, learn myself again, relearn myself. And it feels like I'm in a constant kind of state of that evolution in, you know, every year. So this year feels like it really hit me at the end of the year. Um, this year was great though i'll say that but right now like i feel like i'm definitely in a very interesting like relearning of myself which can be cool difficult yeah for and sure. awesome of all course. at the same time great <laughs> <laughs> yo okay so what i did there let me tell you what i did there so i basically just took forever to say hey i'm a human being and i'm growing and i'm changing all the time that was the that was like what I was trying to say, but I just took like two minutes to say it. It's really funny. Oh, that was something else. Yeah, you, you don't you don't do that all the time. It's just when you're oh, like, thank God, when you get a question and you're you're actively thinking about the question because you don't have the answer just yet. That's, yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, but it's like you fill the void with a lot of words. Yeah, Maybe until I should you just be get quiet next like time. I should do I should do what Keon does. Introspection. Keon goes. You know, like, yeah, he, like he actually, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. How are you feeling now? Okay, yeah. so now, now? <laughs> uh, honestly, like, pretty similarly, uh, I'm fine. And I think that uh, I'm just, I've just been learning a lot. So just continuing on this crazy roller coaster that I feel like I'm on right now. Mm -hmm. But I feel, I feel, uh, I feel immense gratitude for um, everything we have going on and all the good. people in my life. Good. I I, yeah, good. that's how I'm feeling. That's good. Chill, you know? Yeah, chill. It's <laughs> like super, yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, well, the next question we're going to ask you, just a funny one, actually. It's, um, what would you, what would you tell yourself a year ago? So the, the you you're actually reacting to, what would you tell that person? But you're going to watch what you, you would I say said first. That? Well, I don't even remember this. Hold on to your horses, baby. <laughs> nah, I'd say, uh, 
you're gonna I would say if I would speak I would tell myself from a year ago or the year ago version year. of me tells me. No, you right now tell yourself a year ago. Come on. Okay, bro. yeah, me, me right now movie. tells myself a year yeah, ago. Yeah, what would you tell yourself a year ago? I would tell myself from a year ago, hey, um, you're gonna have a lot of expectations on how you're gonna be able to handle yourself in this life. Um, and you're not gonna meet all the incredible standards you set for yourself, and that's okay. You really have to be compassionate towards yourself and you got to be okay with it because if you're not, you're just going to shut down and be really upset all the time. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Nice. Very truthful answer. <laughs> yep. The year ago, you would probably be my like... Boy, my boy <laughs> was spitting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my boy was spitting. Um, <clears throat> I, honestly, a pretty similar answer as well. Mm -hmm. I think I would... I would... Uh, I think more with the compassion thing is mm -hmm. set boundaries... Um, be compassionate towards yourself and be as kind as you can to others uh, and find pleasure in your friendships in your community rather than uh, accomplishments and achievements so pretty pretty similar okay I think so you would tell that version of you a year you would tell them yeah that same thing I would I will I would well, not the same thing, but not the same you, thing. You would just add those addendums. I, I would, yeah, I would make it more concise yeah, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> less words, and I would also say, um, hold on mm -hmm. to the what's that thing called that the bull, that you hold on to when you're bull riding? I think it's, I don't know what it's called, but it's on a saddle. Yeah, it's like a grip. Yeah, it's on a saddle, and you hold it. Yeah, that thing, riding, whatever that thing is called, hold the. Fuck on to that thing. You're gonna you're gonna need that. You're gonna have to bleep that word out. Nice. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I've never bleep out those words. Oh, thank God. Um, all right. The next question, the last question, the third question, is uh where do you feel most safe? You ever heard of Apex Legends? <laughs> 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 no, nah, no, nah, I'm fucking with you, bro. I can't say that. That's not funny. Um, <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Where do you That's feel the sad. safest? Give me a second and think about Take this. Take your time. You got it. You have approximately two minutes. I would say... <laughs> Why the fuck do you have time limits for everything? <laughs> um, I would say... <laughs> Take your time. You have two minutes. Um... I feel safest, S honestly, surrounded by you guys. Yeah, not to be um, mushy or anything, but I try. I'm trying to think of a place where I feel more safe than when I'm with you and Joe and you know Project Field people. Like, um, and I can't think of one. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Aw. Aw. Well, that's not true anymore. No. Yeah, not at all. Not not one bit. Um, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'd say uh, another something else to add on this year that I feel like might not have been the, there. <clears throat> Definitely feel safest around the people that I love. Um, but also, I'm discovering that I feel really safe. Uh, when I allow myself to be alone uh, and when I create a space for myself to um, just kind of play with my thoughts and uh, do whatever it is that I feel like I need to do on my own. So that's that's something new that I discovered this year that I feel like it has helped me through some difficult moments, just uh, feeling safe in my own space by myself with no one else. Yeah. Nice. That's really cool. I'm glad you found that for yourself because yeah. I always feel that way. So yeah. it's, a, it's a nice feeling when you can be with yourself and, and feel like you got your own back, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Be comfortable. Yeah, yeah. It's Just, good. you know, like I take, like what I like to do when I'm by myself is like I take, uh, let's say like I'm just trying, I take some lotion and I just like in one hand and I and like I'll spread it out on my hands and then like I'll start taking. Okay. All right, Michael Combs. Hello. It's me. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Yes, with the with the new do, hair looks incredible. Thank you. Thank you. You know. What is this a new Try, thing? Is trying this it out. Yeah, I haven't. I've always said I wanted to have braids, uh, like mm -hmm. 
I feel like I've been saying that for the past few years. And so yeah. I had the opportunity to like have somebody do them for me. And it was my mom. It was actually my mom that did them. So I'm oh, excited so to sweet. have them. And I've loved like rocking the style. It's been really fun so far. So yeah. yeah. I think it's your best look so far. I, oh, I, I really you. do. I love it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Um, of course. So first question. Sure. We're going to go ahead and ask you. Okay. Um, is how are you feeling? And uh, first, you're gonna play the right. clip. Like, watch how you were feeling a year ago <laughs> first, and then, and then we'll get to okay. it. Okay. Uh, I feel good. I feel good. <laughs> I'm like excited. It's still. It's just like noon here on the west coast. Oh my gosh! I, I feel can't good. I'm it. ready for the day. What do you got planned today? Uh, What's going on? I'm, I think I might go test drive some cars. Which is kind of oh my cool. gosh, that's so um, crazy! And then just do some errands, you know, nice. some other typical Monday stuff. You know? Yeah, that's great. Cool. <laughs> that's, that's wild. All right. Test driving cars. Test driving cars. I had just gotten my license, I guess, a uh, few weeks probably before we had this like chat last year. And now I've been driving for a year. I got I got a car like probably, I don't know if it was that day <laughs> that's good to hear. or like, I don't know if I got it that day or like the day after or something, but very yeah. recent, like very close after that conversation, mm. I did get a car. Um, and I love okay. my car. That's. <laughs> that's really cool that's exciting yeah um it's nice to hear that can you imagine if how awkward it would be if you were like uh no i never got a car right i, <laughs> I never hate got driving a car and um i still take the bus <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh that's that's awesome though how are you feeling now i'm feeling good i'm feeling um mm. like really excited energized um a lot of new things have happened in the past year since that last question and Mm. Um, including like the background obviously from the call is different like I've moved and <laughs> there's lots there's been lots of changes but I'm feeling really good about them and I feel like really uh, good reflecting on this like last year and kind of rounding it out nice that's awesome yeah there is a scenery change so that's that's pretty exciting that's yeah. pretty fun um, so the next question we're gonna ask you is uh, did you try something new this year and uh, what was it so Got it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I yeah, remember we'll now see. I remember my, my answer from last year. You remember? Let's, okay, okay. Let's watch. <laughs> I mean, okay, I just got my license this year. That was oh my gosh. <laughs> I learned how to drive. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. That's yeah, that's yeah, actually yeah. so that fun. That's definitely something new. That's so yeah, how does it feel to how does it feel to be able to drive? It is it feels good, but it's like so kind of terrifying. Um, <laughs> <That> <laughs> there's so many totally things fair. to think about at once. That is totally that's fair, true. yeah. Um but yeah, it was definitely, it's like one of those things where you learn something new, but it was a life scale and I'm glad that I, I, I can like do it and did you, I don't have to like take the bus everywhere. Did you ever drive before you learned how to drive? Like, did you ever, Not really. you were never behind a wheel? Oh my gosh. I was behind the wheel maybe when I was what, like 13 in Boy Scouts oh, and nice. we went to like our, our Scoutmaster's ranch and he had this little like Jeep. <laughs> And he was like, I was just thinking about this the other day too. Okay, so I can like, pause. I <laughs> yeah, you can pause it. Yeah. Um, that's so funny. Nice. I was thinking about that story the other day. Um, wow, what a long way I've come. I mean, even just thinking <laughs> about like, there's a lot of things to think about at once. When in, in talking about driving, that's like, yeah, there are, but now I actually don't think about them that much. They're just, I just drive. Um, mm. So that's kind of crazy. Um, but that was definitely very new to me last year, and mm. I was definitely very anxious behind the wheel. And now I'm just like, you know, I drive and I yeah. get frustrated in traffic and <laughs> like, True. You know, like yeah. um, and then, yeah, like, did I try anything new this year mm -hmm. and what was it? Uh, I, I mean, yes. And this is hilarious because last year my example was also like very recent to when we're actually having this conversation, but something new. Mm -hmm. For me this year was I had I had Thanksgiving with my biological family for the first time and like first holiday with them at all um, in my wow. life, which was really awesome to like experience. And like it was really cool to see my like mom be so happy. And like she's like, wow. this is the first time all my children have been under my roof during a holiday like in my life. And um, to share that joy and just like feel that love and like support and just like welcomeness uh, from everybody oh, was just so special and I got to bring Cody too and yeah so that was new uh, and I yeah I'm still like that is, processing all of it you know that's beautiful that makes me so happy to hear yeah what a what a great new thing oh my gosh yeah it new tradition really maybe too yeah yeah of course I mean that uh, 
hopefully, yeah, you continue to do that every year. That's yeah. that is so great to hear. I'm I'm happy for you. Um, the next question that we're gonna ask you is, how have you changed the most this year? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't play that clip. <laughs> Jeez, that's like so <laughs> wild. Oh, uh, <laughs> man, it's just like change is so inevitable, right? Like, mm-hmm. there there have been a lot of changes uh, within the last like calendar year too, or like you know like three hundred sixty five days yeah. year. You know, not even just twenty twenty, like mm-hmm. a little bit before um, in my life, and a lot of stuff like out of my control. So I think just like what I've tried to do more so this year than ever is just like go with the flow. And like, um, I think that was a big change. Mm-hmm. It was just like, like being able to take a back seat in like the planning phases of things mm-hmm. and just like feel as well, like feel what needs to be felt and like, mm-hmm. don't worry about how long it takes to feel it. And like, that's a part of moving through things. And I just think that was a big change for me. Because I think I, I like to just like be on top of like why I'm feeling away and and the, like just kind of like I don't know I I, I do it and I, I've 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 just noticed in myself that I I like allow myself to sit in it for as long as it needs to happen and then move through because I know there's always going to be something on the other side you know yes one hundred percent that's beautiful um yeah interesting <laughs> <laughs> um I. Yeah, I mean, I I think I feel very similarly to that. I think this year mm-hmm. still just kind of like approaching things differently and like more just kind of like openly to see how they will go. I think like, um, I don't know, a lot of change I feel mm-hmm. like has happened within myself this year. And I think I've, I think there's still mm-hmm. a lot of processing to do like what that is exactly and like how that looks mm-hmm. and feels in different spaces. I think a big thing about the way that I've seen this year is like the way that I interact with people, I think is differently is different. And, and just like, um, yeah, I think just relationships with people, how I value them and kind of like my, um, reaction to like, if relationships kind of dwindle or fade or Mm. just, or just like, dim for a moment right like I think everyone has shit going on and I think like sometimes when that happens it's you can pull away from people and it feels sometimes like either you're being ghosted or like there's a miscommunication but like I think me in the past would have pretty negative reactions to to stuff like that and I think Mm -hmm. as I grow I'm just understanding more and more that people are different and relationships change and ebb and flow just like life does. Um, Mm -hmm. So that's a big thing that I've noticed this year is, is that. uh, Beautiful. Myself. Yeah. That's it for us today. All right. Uh, Thank you so much for (laughs) being with us on the, on the podcast again. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll have you back again soon. Yeah. All right. Till next year. (laughs) Welcome. Dr. Christine Arquero, <laughs> the first question we're going to ask you is, uh, how are you feeling? So uh, if you want to go ahead and see. play that clip, or, yeah. How were you? Hello. How you doing? Hello, my love. <laughs> how are you feeling? Today. Feeling good. Feeling good. Mm-hmm. Feeling full. She mm-hmm. just had a full dish. It was yummy. Nice. And how are you feeling? How am I feeling? A little sore. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, happy holiday season has been treating us well. So nice. Yeah, feel good. Huh? Um, funny because I definitely just ate and I'm still full and I'm a little sore because I also just worked out. But today, I would say I had a day, so I was definitely a little irritable today. Sorry about that. I'm feeling better now that we had a moment to breathe um but yeah still overall feeling happy um I think I quickly say that I'm always doing good which I would say I am usually always doing good but today I was a little irritable but now I'm better so I feel good I feel happy okay. <laughs> what did you... that's funny that's great okay Oh, I'm glad you're still happy. 
through all of that. <laughs> um, okay, so the next question that I'm going to ask you is, uh, what experiences in this past year led you to who you are now? Mm. And get a little closer to the mic. Too. Mm. Well, definitely the three months off of work and being able to really tap into my creative and artistic side led me to where I am now. And also being post-residency and now doing my real job. So all that hard work, just, I guess, solidifying who I am this past year through all those experiences. So, yeah. Beautiful. That's great. <laughs> Get me where I am today. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I would say still hard work. I um, think I always try my best. So if positive and good things come my way, I think it's because of the work I put in. But lately, I've been thinking about like where I am today and if you think about it it's been like a really fun stream of spontaneousness I guess mm -hmm. like we're literally in my new apartment with my partner mm -hmm. now so that's new that was fun um I'm at that job <laughs> that I wasn't at before still doing well and now I'm working more than ever in terms of like professionally in both realms, like medically and creatively. So yeah, a little bit of mixing up, working hard and just letting things go the way that they needed to go, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, sounds accurate. Uh, I'm the partner, by the way, guys. I'm the one that she's living with. <laughs> um, so the three months that I was talking about last year um, ended up being a really good era to really build a foundation for like what it is that I like to draw or the things that come naturally. Um, and it allowed me to like really play with the time that I had. So now... Um, I mean, I get paid to do creative things now, which is nice. I didn't get to do that before. Yeah. For those who don't know, she does. She started visual, doing visual art in that. Visual design. So digital, you know, also mm -hmm. on canvas and mm -hmm. painting and stuff like that. And now it's like, actually, you're doing pretty... Paying off. Yeah, you're sticking to it. Which is nice. And set design. I got paid f to do that th this past year, which is fun. Um, yeah, so I guess... That was a fun year of growth to go from nothing and now I have it be like an actual part of my life that is paying off what started as is just having fun. Um, all right. The last question that I'm going to ask you, the third question. Who can you turn to for guidance? <laughs> I already there. remember my yeah, yeah, answer. This is the one I remember you have the most. Good memory. Mm. It's a really good question for you, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I don't tell my secrets yeah. for anyone. <laughs> but if I had to, probably be you. Um, Hector Sanchez Jr., Eddie Wise, <laughs> future baby daddy, oh, host of the show. Nice. Um, probably turn to you for guidance, probably mm. because I trust you and I feel safe with you. And I feel like you understand me the most so mm. you want the best for me truly um it's probably you it's very sweet mm. Mm. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um can you imagine how awkward it would be if we had broken up between that and now <laughs> and i was sitting well, here now like, i hate him <laughs> <laughs> well now i live with him ex-future baby daddy <laughs> um I mean, shit hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> but I was actually thinking about this one because I remember this mm -hmm. question the most. Um, 
I definitely still, if not only you, mostly you, turn to you for guidance. Um, And I feel like if you think about that at first, it makes it seem like I'm a very private person or that I don't, I'm not good with like being vulnerable with other people. And I wouldn't say it's that because if you're close to me, I'm an open book. I just don't do it very often um and the person that I do it the most with is myself um Mm -hmm. and I was thinking about how oh is that a negative thing like should I be doing it more often and then I was really thinking about how well um you know I spent a lot of my childhood and early adult years like only really relying and having myself to guide myself and um you know even though it would have been nice to have other people to kind of help or support in any way like that um I think it was a positive because at the end of the day like it really created a very strong sense of direction within myself and a lot of trust in myself and Mm -hmm. I always have this saying I mean you've heard it so many times but like where I think I forgot something or I think I didn't do something and then I ended up have do it and I Mm -hmm. say I always say to myself like trust yourself like don't doubt yourself Mm because I always pull through for myself um and then I think that's why I just always naturally think to ask inward rather than ask outward Mm. so I'm always looking into myself of like, okay, well, let's figure this out together in myself (laughs) um, first. And then, I mean, it hasn't really led me in the wrong direction Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time. So, yeah, I think that's why I don't naturally go outwards very often. I just Mm. go inwards first. Um, But who knows? Maybe next year I'll be like pouring my soul to everybody and then I'm asking everybody. Maybe you'll be lost, <laughs> like us. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm but just playing on the joke. Yeah, um, number one bestie is myself. Mm-hmm. Number one bestie and a half is you. Bestie and a half? What does mm-hmm. that even mean? I don't know if I should be offended or should we... <laughs> should we kiss? Yeah. Is that Keep what you said going, last yeah. time? <laughs> That's so cute. Yes, for sure. Cut to us kissing. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show. Love you. Love you. Lifer, Sam, yes, Lifer, sir. what's up, dude? How's it going? I'm chilling. I'm good. I'm happy to be here. We got the upgrade, this backdrop, yeah, you know? Yeah, you're act- and you're actually in person this time. Well, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here again. Yeah, of course. Appreciate I'm excited. Um, so the first question we're going to ask you is, how are you feeling? You're going to press play first. You're yeah, going to watch see, let's the see. intro and then... I, I can't i'm excited to have you on um i actually want to i want to have you on for for season two officially like you know for a full length solo yeah. did that happen did that yeah yeah we did in the park oh yeah the park pretty good can't complain <laughs> today i'm feeling good today i'm feeling thankful for my my health mm. that's funny <laughs> <laughs> thankful for your health yeah are you still thankful for your health in some ways but it quickly <laughs> declined after that oh, really oh, <laughs> i just man. that was before i fucked on my back Oh, wow. Okay. And then like, but, but I am still thankful for my health. I have like oh, yeah. something I realized in the past like years, I have crazy immune system. It goes hard. Sick. My, my like Jackie has had COVID, had RSV, all this shit while I've been living with her and I haven't caught any of it. So that's awesome. Thankful for that shit. Not so thankful for my fucking disc. But, yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. So the question, the second question that we're going to ask you um is what are you most proud of? It's interesting. We're going to watch your answer first. In the, but in the last year or like all, in general? It's going to just in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we'll see what you said back then. Yeah, let's see it. Hmm, like in general or like this year? Or like <laughs> sure, right? literally yeah. the same I mean, cause. It, it could be about, you know, whatever you feel it speaks to you. It could be about this year. It can be about in general, like your per, your, your person. It could be like, you know, the people. Yeah. Like, whatever you want, yeah. Um. I would say, actually, I think it pretty quickly comes to mind for me. It's been over the past like couple years, I've been um, really like cultivating my discipline, which has been something that I've that I've like always struggled with, like mm. con- consistency and just like bringing myself to like tolerate the hard, annoying things that you have to go to to progress both like as a person 
like emotionally, spiritually, and also just like in your skills. Yeah. And, uh, and I feel like over the past year and a half, maybe two years, like since the pandemic has started, I've, I, I've had a lot of time with myself to, um, lay the groundwork for like building good habits, but also for just like, like pushing through really not wanting to do things and like just mm. doing them anyway. Yeah, oh, dude, I feel that. That's awesome. Um, yeah. That's like the yeah. biggest puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is cool to watch, you yeah. know, like, I, like it's easy. I feel like to get down on myself about like, I don't know. There are waves. I'm like someone who deals with seasonal depression and stuff like that. Like everyone mm -hmm. does. And like some of those habits like have ebbed and flowed, but it, but definitely like that self-discipline has led to what I would say I'm most proud of in this past year is like, I just went on tour with El Baez. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm playing guitar full time now. Like I, you know, I maybe to some degree at the expense of other things, but like I've so many times faltered and been like, I don't think I could do this. Like I mm. had to do other things part time and like really persevering, really getting better at my craft and really putting myself out there has like led to, you know, I got, I've, I've been doing it full time now and I, you know, I only pick up other jobs when I really need to, which has been beautiful. And I'm, I, uh, I'm very proud of that because it's always been my dream to go on tour. And I was doing it with someone whose music I really fuck with yeah. making money for it and do, and also with people I really love, you know? That's so cool, and that's and that's a great achievement as well. That's I feel like that's a dream, you know, for a lot of artists. So huge, huge, yeah, especially uh, people who play instruments as well. It's like you know, you gig a lot, but you want that one gig that's like this is yeah. fulfilling, this is satisfying. Yeah, I mean, what but I also like not not to hedge, but also the freaking the songwriting camp. Yeah. Very very proud of oh, that. Man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah proud yeah. of uh, you know, uh, pr uh, not that I like you know, I'm you know, some mastermind. It was really the people there, but like. I, I'm proud of what I did yeah. for it, for sure. You should be proud of that. It was great. That was a honestly uh, an incredible weekend. Yeah. So the third final question that we have for you is: Who is someone in your life that you want to build a closer relationship with? I'm really interested to see who you put here. I think I already know, and it might okay, still okay, be the okay. same. Oh, okay. Uh, th this is going. <laughs> okay, all right. This is going to get a little um, emotional then. Oh, but okay. I, I, I think like, um my family, my, mm. uh, I think my mom and my sister maybe in particular. Um, but like, I have always kind of been, um, like in my family, I, I have two siblings and I'm, I'm the youngest by far by like seven years. Mm. And I, I've, I'm like the one who's like, you know, do doesn't have a salaried career and like I'm, I'm an artist you know i i live my mm -hmm. life in in that way and like i think this this year i want to work on rebuilding those those connections and those relationships and like getting to know them better because i think that is what it comes down to in a lot of ways is that um like i like you know when i was in middle school my siblings were in college and like i i've just spent a lot of time away from my family and like people change and relationships evolve and i want to get to know them again and like really like yeah you know work That's, on that relationship yeah yeah um to some degree the same you know mm. i have started that process but it's been a little bit of a slower process than i would than i maybe expected but yeah. so, to s separate keep it fresh <laughs> my guy Lucas Ebling right now is a dude. He was the drummer on the tour with El Baez. Yeah. And like I have a lot of uh, music friends and I have a handful, not a ton, but a handful of like really close friends. who I feel mm -hmm. like I can talk to about like anything. And uh, it's very rare that those combine and mm. that like there are people who I'm very close with and feel comfortable talking to about things who are also on my schedule and like live a similar life to me. Yeah. And like, I know I just like met this dude, but. Lucas, I fuck with you. This guy's he's my guy, and I just want to like you know keep kicking it with him. And, and that's awesome. Him. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad it's someone new as well. You know, it's, yeah. It's always nice to to meet people, especially since he's on the same like yeah, he's on a very similar wavelength, and many, yeah. many people aren't. Most people aren't. Yeah, um, true. In terms of like being a musician, like an active gigging musician. Yeah, yeah, so. exactly. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Well, thank you so much for making your return and uh, being vulnerable with us. We appreciate it and. Uh, yeah, man. On to the next one. Yeah, Ho of course. Hopefully see you next year. This is funny to watch. I can't wait to see what next year yeah. this looks like. Yeah. Hello, Joe King.
What's up, welcome, Eddie Wise? Welcome to the podcast once again. Yeah. Was my name Joe King last year? Yeah. I think so. Well, we'll see when we started. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, so the first question we're going to ask you is, how are you feeling? You're going to play yeah. the clip there. Okay. Hello, Joe King. What's up, Eddie Wise? <laughs> yeah, let's so go. Good, 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 good. <laughs> is that like, to, a, like, you know, right now is kind of a challenging time for me. Uh, very recently. Uh, you know, I, I kind of rid, rode a high of uh, things kind of going the way that I've always wanted it to go. Um, and right now, I mean, we, uh, half of us got COVID, so I haven't been able to work. So uh, that and not working so much, like, brought me back to like, okay, there's more to life than just that, that I've been mm -hmm. not avoiding, but. Uh, I, I would say ignoring because I was so focused on all the good and uh, and not focusing on all the work that needs to be done. So I'm just now in a moment of, uh, and especially with the new year coming around, like I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next year. So I'm just right now uh, at this moment in a, in a state of uh, reflection, yeah, reflection and uh, I don't know, I'm just uh, and motivated to make changes for next year. Wow. That's actually really funny. Um, I'm feeling great. Good. I've been feeling good for a long time. Um, and I think that's from uh, contentment with change. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm in a... Last year, I, have, I was in a new... I don't know when we recorded it, but I was talking or just newly in a relationship with Emily. Um, and our anniversary is in four days and wow. it's been going very well. Mm -hmm. uh, she's taught me a lot. And, um, I think being, and, and being more honest with her and because I love her so much, and I don't want to ruin anything. And honesty is obviously the best policy, but this also helped me be honest with everyone else around me. Um, mm -hmm. and mostly honest with myself about like what I need in my life. Uh, what I don't need, what's like, uh, you know, useless. Mm -hmm. So that contentment is just like, dude, life is going to throw you a lot of shit and you um, can't give up on that. Like that, that stuff shouldn't let you, shouldn't bring you down. I mean, if it does, then know that you have to keep working to bring yourself up. Um, so with, with that knowledge, like I've been able to, for this last year, been able to go through a lot of challenges smoother than I have before, just based off of knowing that things are going to happen uh, and I can't give up from it. So, nice. but yeah, I've been feeling good, bro. I'm happy. I love everybody. I love, I love you. I love <laughs> Franco. I love like, everybody. It, yeah, man, it's, nice. it's amazing. And with my, with art too, like I've mm -hmm. really been growing a lot as, yeah. as a filmmaker. So I can't complain about anything. Sick. That's great. That's good to hear. Yeah. Um, the next question that you're going to hear, the next question we have for you is, what's your biggest creative goal for next year? Okay. I'm very curious. Let's see. <laughs> uh, wow, it's actually crazy that that's being asked because mm -hmm. I, uh, I was just talking about that with Emily today. Um, my biggest goal right now is to... I want my reel, my film reel to, to show... Uh, to be as diverse as possible. <laughs> so my goal is to do at least one project every month so that, that didn't of happen. my own. <laughs> and that could be like an experiment. Like a couple of days ago, I did an experiment with lighting. Um, and I want to do something every month that has a different tone, uh, a different genre. Like I want to I want to show people that I could do a film noir, I could do comedy, I could do uh like a, an action like look, you know what I mean, and be able to learn how to light and how to shoot differently to those types of stories, um, if that makes sense. Um, also, I'm making the creative decision to limit the things that I accept, uh, to to limit the projects that I take, mm -hmm. um, in the name of I guess just being fair to my art and to someone else's project. Okay. So like, for example, I guess the biggest thing is like, I don't want to edit music videos anymore. 
Like that's just not like I'm I'm sure <laughs> like I'm I'm good. I think I'm good at doing it. Yeah. But that's not what I want to do. Still very true. You know what I mean? And like for me it's for me to take up my time to do something that I don't want to do when I'm when this is my job, mm-hmm. why would I do that now? You know? I'm down to shoot them. Mm-hmm. Uh specific ones, not just any. Um I'm just being very I guess uh strict on my uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, what you mean. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, my views. Um, uh, something that I said last year, like, um, you know, just kind of knowing, giving myself boundaries on like what I want to do. I mm-hmm. think I've found that. Um, I love being a DP. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just shot a music video for Franco. You were there. What was and this for everybody else. Yeah. Uh, for. And uh, that. By far is Has he even announced the title yet? <laughs> I don't think so. Ooh. You heard it here first. <laughs> um, that is by far my best work so far. Yeah, yeah. Um But I couldn't have done it without like the creativity of everyone else around me. Yeah, for sure. My creative goal is to continue uh pushing the boundary of on what I can do. Uh like I said last year, not repeating myself, not having like a specific look like this is like I can tell, like Joe King made this because he mm. does like his usual stuff. Like Cole Bennett, Cole Bennett does his usual things. You know what I mean? I don't want to be that guy. Um, and I want to continue to strive to be like that. But I think the biggest goal for me, and I think it's like my five-year goal, is to um, is to produce uh, and give us work, find us work, mm-hmm. um, and teach everyone to to well not teach well give everyone opportunities to be creative and be paid for it Mm. um i think the barrier from not being paid for your work and being paid to do the same work is uh is exposure and like getting past the gatekeepers it's you just got to know the right people and i'm very blessed to be around people who know people Mm -hmm. and in turn i you know so i know people and um and I just want all of my friends to thrive and yeah, give sure. them opportunities to, you know, to do that and to be yeah. creative um, freely, mm-hmm. you know. The next question we're going to ask you is, uh, what is a technolo- technological thing that blows your mind? Okay. I, don't know, I'm very, I don't even remember what your answer, but. This is a good one. Yeah, right now, and it's been like this for a while, just how like the subway is still intact. <laughs> you know, like, that's a technological feat. I think yeah. New York City as, as a whole is mm-hmm. a technological feat from being like conceptualized in the 1800s. I just want to say I'm past that. Like I, yeah. I've, 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 I was obsessed with it for a while and now I'm past that. I get it now. It's boring for me now. As a, uh, you understand like subways a, completely now. Yeah. It's a theory. It's actually not that difficult. Of how yeah, it yeah. grow. And the fact that there, I mean, there are issues, like don't get me wrong, but <laughs> that's a good, good amount, yeah. <laughs> the idea to make a grid pattern because they knew that it was going to be, they wanted it. To it's be. true. I mean, I, it is, it is. I'm like I did say I'm bored of it, but it is very still true. Like it's one of the greatest like engineering technological things that has ever happened. That I can't even like imagine doing right now. Like what can I make today that will stand the test of time a hundred years from now, and so on. Yeah. You know. Like, our, yeah, sure, like, the system is crumbling, uh, the subway system is crumbling, but not enough for, for it to be, like, we, we can't. Sure, it sucks, but it's still awesome, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm past the New York thing. Yeah. Um, something that really scares me is the metaverse, to be honest. <laughs> um, but I don't know if I, do, if, if I believe in it or not. It, what, what scares me is that Mark Zuckerberg, one of the most, like, influential, one of the, like, you know, most of the human race is using one of his platforms, whether that's WhatsApp internationally, you know, Instagram, Facebook, you know, anything. Yeah. And they changed their name to Meta. Like they've bought in to the metaverse so hard, like they're going to believe in it. Yeah. Which and is, like yeah. he's going to be one. This one dude is going to be pioneering the next like the next uh, wave of uh, communications. And that's really scary for one, per- for one person to have. I think like the use of, you know, imagine like a surgeon, you know, using that. The only thing yeah. is like you can't trust 
Like, you know, SNL uses still writes on boards because they don't want to trust a, a teleprompter. Because at any point, even if, even if, like, there's no error to using cards because it's already written. Yeah. But there's a slight chance of error for a teleprompter. And on a mm. live television that costs millions of dollars to make every episode, like, you can't have that, yeah, that mess up. That makes sense. So, you know, I don't really don't know how far that type of technology can go. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think I'm afraid of, of what, uh, I'm afraid of what, of how it could be abused. For sure. Um, it still blows my mind that we're, that we're here though. And like, you know, we're 20, 20 somethings. We have like another. Don't even, don't put a year on it. We have a long time. We have a very, <laughs> we have like a lot. We, we're probably going to triple our lifetimes right now yeah. in our life. You know what yeah. I mean? So like imagine so much stuff that we've seen in our lifetimes already times three. Yeah. It's crazy actually. Uh, yeah. It's wild. So I'm curious to see where the metaverse and, and VR and AR is going <laughs> to go, but that shit is blowing my mind right now. True. true. Yeah. Nice. Well, thank you, Joe, for uh, coming through again and sharing your thoughts with us. Yeah. We thanks appreciate for having it. me. And uh, yeah, yeah, thanks, my man. My man. <laughs> Rare, what's up? What's up, bro? What's up, dude? It's How good to doing? see you in the in the home. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, it's a beautiful home. Last time we interviewed you, you were still in Connecticut, um, and now you're finally here. We can do this stuff in person, which is pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, thanks for for being here and being a part of this. Absolutely. Um, First question we're going to ask you is, how are you feeling? Okay, so you're going to press play on that and watch that clip. We're, we're, we're feeling we're feeling good. I, well, let me speak for myself. I'm feeling good. <laughs> um, things have been a little a little rough this past couple of weeks, mm-hmm. but um, yeah. Christmas was was really nice. And in the past couple of days we've gotten to have like really great conversations and we've had time to catch up um which has felt like uh forever since we got to do so um yeah uh i'm feeling good i'm feeling hopeful for the new year and, yeah we yeah. got plans nice <laughs> that's a, that's very exciting yeah um <laughs> there is some context with that that um question that I don't know if I'm going to dive into uh, right now. Um, But I completely forgot that this interview happened um, around that time, which was a very difficult uh, time in our lives at that at that point. Um, It was also beautiful at the same time, Mm. too. Um, You know, Christmas was really nice. There was some some blessings that have been some sadness that have been one of those being that my family, like my mother and, and stepfather and brother and a uh, cousin were supposed to come for that Christmas, but they ended up catching COVID, mm. oh, which, which kind of yeah. sucked. And we really needed that yeah. at that moment. So it was, mm-hmm. it was a little um, depressing. And that's also, that would be the last Christmas that we actually uh, spent with uh, Shaliza's sister which was, you know, wow. is a sad truth. But mm-hmm. um, when she passed, there was actually a question of, like, what what was your favorite moment with her? And mm-hmm. that Christmas was my favorite moment with her because um, she got to, you know, watch Emma really, like, dive into her presence, yeah. but, uh, which is something that, like, I'm grateful that we got to experience. Um, and then, yeah, just also just reflecting back on, on what I was feeling, you know, personally at that at that time, mm-hmm. just like still being out there and not being completely happy with yeah. that, but accepting it and and looking forward to the future and and now a year later, like things have completely switched and things even here, you know, the grass is always greener. Which yeah. I knew there would be some pros to being to staying over there and some pros to being over here and some cons to being over here and some cons for staying over there for sure. um so now being here you know it's it's been a difficult transition but um i think i'm a lot happier than the that's the cool. rare that was there the george <laughs> that was there um so yeah I'm, I'm feeling very challenged at the moment a lot mm. of struggles are happening um but 
so many blessings that also come with it that um you know i can't deny those blessings mm-hmm. I, at the end of the day i just have to be grateful you know i'm alive i'm For healthy sure. my daughter is like developing every day my relationship you know just to see like i said how we were at that time and what we were going through and you know mm-hmm. now being over here um i'm very proud of us i'm very proud of our relationship and it it proves to me every time that like that is the person i'm, I'm meant mm-hmm. to be with so that's beautiful I'm very happy at this moment so this next question is i mean it's still technically relevant i think a bit but it's it might be very different now your answer um or it might be the same i don't know but the question was um how are you feeling about being post pandemic this year it's really random but like there might be some stuff there <laughs> um well yeah so it, it's been ridiculously rough as it as it's been for everybody yeah. um from like like losing people to like people that i love losing people yeah um to you know opportunities that couldn't be fulfilled you know because of covid um but i in a more personal more um i guess recent situation uh as i mentioned before we we had been going through a a rough couple weeks not too long ago and uh christmas was supposed to be like a really beautiful gathering like we were supposed to have like all of our our like parents come and like like, outside family members as well Mm -hmm. but all like essentially like main family you know like um and uh unfortunately my mother and stepfather uh caught covid oh man uh, and we found out like the The day they were the the day where they were supposed to come you know so they were so close to coming and thankfully shout out to my cousin malcolm which it was also his birthday on christmas shout out to malcolm uh, yeah. <laughs> he came with those Apple, those Apple. That oh, yeah. Apple. They it's, give you free tests. I forgot he works there. Yeah. yeah. And he, he was able to provide like um like some sweet. for some for my mother, some for my stepfather. That's awesome. Because um, my stepfather is waiting on his PCR results, but he hadn't gotten it. Mm. And they, mm-hmm. they took the, the test and yep, they three, three positives for my Jeez, stepfather, man. two positives for my yeah. mother and um i mean thankfully my brother didn't get it but he's still exposed yeah but yeah so it it, it was rough because it it was feeling like this was something that we like really Really needed yeah yeah Yeah, i mean so uh obviously (laughs) reflecting on that uh yeah like like i said it it hit us hard like yeah you know back then um as i mentioned we before that you were yeah we were just going through a very difficult time mm-hmm. and then that happened and um it kind of rocked our boat a little bit I, more personally for me mm-hmm. um you know because i felt like i had to turn down my parents like yeah. you know they were they you know obviously christmas is such a big thing so mm-hmm. like it's they based their plans on us yeah and then we had to basically deny them mm-hmm of course, for our own safety, our family's safety, their safety, you know, yeah, et cetera, sure. uh, to reflect on that now and, and look at what is to come. Actually, we're going to be hosting Christmas this year in, yeah. in our apartment. Yeah. Um, hopefully there's no situations like that. No, um, sure. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to be like 30 deep in, in our apartment. Wild. Wild. Um, it's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think why these moments feel important is because how much we felt like COVID took away from us and like having to make sure we establish those moments for, mm. you know, our daughter, Emma, and and for ourselves and for our family yeah. to make them all feel like they're included. Like I said, it's going to be extremely tight, but um, I think there's an excitement with that. You know, I was worrying that people would feel uncomfortable, but... I think that's that's where you figure out ways to like okay like how are we gonna connect everybody how are we gonna yeah. make them what games are we gonna play to make them mm-hmm. you know enjoy it we gotta make the food extra good so mm-hmm. you know everybody feels comfortable. Um, I realized throughout uh, the time that actually there was like so many blessings like yeah, the fact that sure. that first year 
of Emma's life. I literally yeah. got to be not me, but me and my partner. Mm-hmm. Shalee's like we got to be locked in with just her yeah. and and my partner, us three and, and Bruno as well. And Bruno. Um to be locked in yeah. and, and being able to watch my daughter grow every single mm-hmm. day that like mm-hmm. fathers don't usually get to. No, you yeah. know, you get maybe like three weeks or something like mm-hmm. that. Um, but to have like almost a year of just every day being present, mm-hmm. like seeing every little going to every single appointment, yeah. like being which is something that I still hold very dearly to me. Like mm-hmm. um I think it that that year of like seclusion allowed me to realize how important these like little moments are so um uh, thank you for sharing with us and being vulnerable we, absolutely i really do appreciate it personally and i'm sure everybody else watching does it as well so thank you thank you bro yeah. and love you bro as i always say man thank you for for doing this like yeah. i feel you is is such a hidden gem that mm-hmm. so many of <laughs> the internet does not know about yeah. and one day we'll be talking about that yeah. thing that you know people slept on for so long mm. but like you have been out here like really Appreciate um you, putting in so much mm-hmm. effort and energy mm-hmm. and it's felt for thank anybody you. thank you bro. a lot of those diehards mm-hmm. of people that are like watching you know you. every episode yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bro, you're, hey there's a you're couple others one, bro. Okay. <laughs> day one bro. i mean i have no choice but I, it's been a blessing that yeah. I, i've had i've i've had that opportunity mm-hmm. and and that's why i feel so special is because yeah. like and just watching the growth you know and and these like these you know small steps here and there but then after the conversation just feel like this magnitude of like whoa this is special and and every right. guest i think the most important thing besides mm-hmm. like i said the views the the likes to mm-hmm. the shares anything like that the most important thing is that those guests that you're having on which are all extremely talented guests are connecting with you mm-hmm. which they deserve to be and i think like after that they realize how special you are and also <laughs> like i think you just do an amazing job of thank sharing you. like what project field does and i thank you for thank that you. and of course, um, i'm grateful to be you know on the front lines watching it happen so thank, thank you so much bro for thank that you, bro. Appreciate i love you. you man love you too bro all right Shalise. what's up hello welcome i'm so glad to see you here I'm in the studio to be here <laughs> actually in person um, yeah this time <laughs> yeah i was telling rare that it was it was it was uh it's really cool to see you both here because you know last year people are going to see you but last year you guys were still in connecticut mm-hmm. and now you're back in new york i know and, and honestly i didn't even think we were going to be in new york now yeah. like we had no plans yeah. to be here this time Just around a year later yeah it's yeah which wild. is wild <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for being here again yeah, I appreciate thank it. you thank you for having me yeah the first question we're going to ask you okay. is how are you feeling okay yeah, so you're feeling. go ahead and press play All on right. that real quick let's see um i'm feeling good um yesterday i kind of had like a roller coaster of like emotions like mm-hmm. i was really sad i had really bad anxiety but then i was like really happy hmm. um why? and <laughs> yeah it was just like why? weird but nice. i'm feeling much better today um mm. and yeah That's so I'm, funny. I'm so glad you guys are feeling good makes me happy to- yeah okay it's <laughs> so funny <laughs> watching that over again um okay so how am i feeling now yeah sure yeah um honestly i feel good mm. I feel really good. I feel like um, life changed mm-hmm. drastically mm-hmm. within the last couple months. Um, but I'm like happy where we are. Although like I I do like have my reservations, if that makes any yeah, sense yeah. or like, you know, um, but I feel good about where we're at. Um, I know it's yeah. been a struggle, mm-hmm. you know, um, but. I know we're gonna get to where we need to be, like For sure. you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's so weird watching that because I'm like, where, what was what was I worried about <laughs> at that time? I'm always worried about something. <laughs> the next question that we're gonna ask you: um, What was the best gift that you got or gave this holiday season? I know you haven't given mm-hmm. too many gifts yet, but if you have any, uh, <laughs> well, but, we're gonna watch this one first. Okay, so that we're gonna see. let's see. I feel like one of the best gifts I got was that the family photo shoot thing. 
that we're mm. gonna do. We haven't done like a fan yeah, photo shoot. We didn't shoot. even do it. Uh-huh. We didn't and even it's do funny because it. I mentioned it to George. Like, hey, we need to take oh um, Christmas photos. <laughs> He's, I'm texting it to him, and because I really wanted to have like a holiday card to like send out to you know our loved ones. <laughs> we didn't even. Do and it. he texts me back like, "Shut up, shut up." <laughs> like, so I'm assuming he was like kind of thinking the same thing, yeah. but he never. Like, told me what it was and then for christmas he's like well yeah i was planning on like setting up a whole like family photo shoot thing um because we did a maternity shoot uh with franco which we love like Mm -hmm. we even have Mm -hmm. the photo up in our living room Mm -hmm. um but we really want to do like a family photo shoot so i'm pretty excited about that okay um (laughs) <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> never happened Why we it? never yeah oh, it never no. happened so it was like his cousin was supposed to do it and oh, like okay. his cousin just kind of like oh. it it didn't work with like schedules and everything yeah that's so disappointing that's tough, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do it this year you gotta yeah. do it this year we're doing like the santa you know like meet santa oh, photos okay, but that's yeah. so like generic but I mean now now we're all here and you got a bunch I of know, photographers. I know, right? You gotta Christine's like... a photographer now, so you oh, can get Christina okay. to do it too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I, I still want to be able to do a family <laughs> photo shoot. Yeah. And like I did do the Christmas cards this year, but it's like on photos nice. we already have. Oh, okay, so okay, it's okay, not yeah. like family photos. But we'll get those done for it's you. It's okay, yeah. We'll make yeah. it a, we'll put it on the top yeah. of Project Fields to <laughs> right? for creative right. endeavors. Thanks. <laughs> family photo shoot. Um So, like, instead of, like, last year, I did Mm -hmm. the best gift I got. So, like, the best gift, like, I'm going to give, I feel like. Um, It's something materialistic, but it also has a lot of meaning to it. Mm -hmm. Um, My sister passed away this year. Mm -hmm. Um, She had stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's it's definitely been rough. For sure. Um, But my niece who has been like such a big part of my life, her daughter, um, I want to gift her like a locket with her picture on it, you know, just as something that like it can, she can carry with Mm -hmm. her all the time. Um, It's something like so simple, but for her, it has a lot of meaning to it, of course, Um, especially Mm -hmm. like being 23 and now she has like custody of my nephew who's only 15. So like having to become a parent within like these past couple months has been like rough. but yeah, like I think that's something like special. I think that's like one of the best gifts I could give this Christmas season. Yeah, sure. yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, and it means yeah. so much. And that's like, yeah, that's all that matters. Like as long as the material, whatever you're giving, is like it has a it has a meaning to it. it. Yeah, and yeah, and that's profound. Yeah, yeah. um, yeah. that's beautiful. Thank, that's you. Well, thank you for sharing <laughs> that. That's so sweet. Okay, um, the next question we're gonna ask you is how has your relationship with your family changed this year if it's changed at all okay so we're gonna um i mean it's definitely different because Mm -hmm. we live in a totally different state than most of our family Mm -hmm. um so in that aspect i there's certain aspects of it that i feel like we're not as close Mm. but i feel like even though we're not as close we really try to make the effort to like have that connection whether it be like through facetime on the phone Mm -hmm. or if if we get a chance to like see them like one of like our (laughs) biggest like i guess new year's goals is to try and see those that we haven't seen in a very long time like like kind of like extended family yeah um and like kind of make time to like you know spend time with them and experience like have experiences with them because we have a lot of experiences with our close relatives, but not as much as like our extended relatives and they like matter too. Of course. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like we have gotten <laughs> stronger, although we are not able to see each other yeah. like physically mm-hmm. in person, mm-hmm. you know, we still try to make an effort um, because especially being out here, mm. like we need that sense of community like I me mean, we're by ourselves all the time yeah. <laughs> um, that's for sure but if we even if it's just like a facetime call mm-hmm. like it kind of like helps us in a sense that okay we still have our family so yeah, yeah. i feel like honestly i feel the same mm. like although you know we are back in new york now um yeah i feel like our family still makes so much of an effort to like be a part of our lives and we Mm kind of do the same um 
and even more so now that we're closer like yeah. we're always gathering um you know back then i felt like every weekend we were doing something or coming mm -hmm. down to new york and like i honestly still feel the same yeah. <laughs> like every weekend yeah. we're doing something <laughs> seeing somebody you know there's always something going on yeah um but yeah like i honestly feel the same i feel like we have a really close-knit family mm. and with having a child like we've definitely like made sure to keep that you know so yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> that's, uh, one thing about families, too, is that kids always bring them together. Bring them, yeah, yeah, honestly. Like I, know the, I know the second I have a kid, my parents are going to be going to see them so much more often. Yes. FaceTiming They'll want to the be with your kid more mm -hmm. than they want to be with you. Yeah, that's, like, that's how it is. That's just how it is, yeah. yeah. And I think, honestly, Emma did that for us mm. because she, like, mended relationships mm. that before her even, like, becoming a person here um they were so rocky you know like mm -hmm. i've i had a rocky relationship with my father like george's parents at one point like his dad and stepdad like they had you know their own like issues yeah. um but with her being here like it just i don't know it was like a magnet mm -hmm. like brought everybody back together it was yeah. just crazy none of that stuff matters when yeah, there's like a child yeah phase. yeah it's so crazy like it's how beautiful. adults could really just put that shit aside like and just really be adults and yeah. just like okay be, be adults be adults <laughs> yeah and like no we're we're family at the end some, of the day yeah, yeah. besides our like differences like we're family mm -hmm. so that's beautiful yeah I feel the same. That's so oh, cool. That is cool, yeah. <laughs> and that's a great message for the holidays, everybody. Listen, if there's not a baby around you and you're fighting with your family, it's because there's not a baby around <laughs> right, you. Right, okay? exactly. Just think about what it would be like if y'all somebody had a kid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they just bring everything together. That's so. beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you so much for thank being you. here and sharing this. Oh, that was um, so short and sweet. Yeah, I love I it. <laughs> it's great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Welcome, our next guest, Sarah Elizabeth. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, so, uh, the first question you're going to get is, uh, how are you feeling? Go ahead, okay. press play on that clip real quick. In this moment, right now? Sure. Tired. Okay. Anything else? Horny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, okay. I think the past few months mm -hmm. I've been going through a really tough time um, accepting a lot of things that I kind of ignored for a long time um, just stepping back into reality almost okay nice yeah so you didn't say horny, I didn't so say horny <laughs> <laughs> I went like deep dive yeah, into yeah. something different but mm -hmm. um yeah i guess how do i feel right now yeah i definitely still feel tired but i think it uh now it's more of like a different reason why i'm tired mm -hmm. i'm like physically tired of just like working so much um the past couple of months i feel like um i've just been feeling yeah just like exhausted honestly physically emotionally mentally spiritually um hmm. yeah and just like feeling that out honestly okay yeah. hmm. the next question that you are going to receive is uh i don't know if this has changed at all but who are your uh, pinned texts with i got to press play on the who do you have pinned um i have <laughs> it's it's franco and then Anthony, and then Christine, and then Emily, and then in the middle, it's the Project Feel group okay. chat, and then Joe, mm -hmm. and <laughs> then I have three more. <laughs> Jeez, okay, go ahead. Um, who am I missing? Or two more. I have Danny, mm -hmm. and then Fran. So that's eight. No, you're missing one. I'm missing one. Yeah. <laughs> There's no other group chats or per people or. What am I missing? Ooh. 
your mom. <laughs> yeah. I hope that's it. Are you actually missing that or no? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know who I'm missing. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out later. Or well, they'll 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 reach out to you and let you know that you really fucked up. Why are you not make close friends? <laughs> All right. The person that was missing was Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Brandon. Um. Okay, I have the same amount of people pinned. I'm looking at my phone right now. So it's Emily, right? Now it's the Cat Skills Cats group chat that's in the middle. Whoa. Joe is on the other side. Then we have Fran, and then Project Feel in the middle. We have Franco on the side, <laughs> Brandon, Christine, and Josh. Nice. And that's the new pins. There you go. Yeah. Well, we had it ready this time. To <laughs> had it ready this Will Franco time. Franco get moved at the top spot. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Franco. You're Make in way the for the cat skills. Row. You're in the middle row. Yeah. Cat skills, cats. Nice. Uh, so the next question that I'm going to ask you is. What will you embark on for the first time in the next year? I'm interested about this one. So what's going to be like something you want to do for the first time this year? Sex. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Ask that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> what will you embark on for the first time next year? Like what's something you're going to try new? I think, and I don't want to get like so deep, you know, mm -hmm. But I feel like most of my years I spent trying to write other people's stories to avoid my own story. Okay. Um, so I think for this new year coming up, I'm just going to focus on writing my own story and see where that leads me. Nice. In what form? Just any form? Any art form? Or just like writing? sex <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Jesus. No, i did no. not see that one coming genuinely i thought i had it. um no not like literally writing yeah no but, i know that's what uh, you're what's your but like, but yeah you know? i think in in just um yeah focusing you know in all things basically yeah oh nice okay i, I see i see yeah I see. you get nice, the, nice, nice. You get yeah the... i get it mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nice and then I burp. <laughs> yeah, then <you> burp. <laughs> nice. Classy. Jesus, why did I say sex so many times? <laughs> hey, being true to yourself. Um, yeah, that story that I ended up writing for myself, horror story. <laughs> Straight up horror. How do you say uh, that? Nah. Uh, I feel like I, I ended up uh, filling in my, my story a little more this year. Um, just because it was leaning more towards a darker side. I feel like I uh, might have not enjoyed it as much, but that's life. Um, as far as like what I want to embark on for the fir for the first time next year, yeah. Uh, moving out mm. of my mom's place. I feel like that's like a huge like step. Um, yeah, that's some that's something I need right now too. Like I'm 26 and like just need my own space and i feel like that will probably and honestly change um my story that i want to write for myself um each year yeah. that's exciting that's a big that is a big step yeah i'm excited to see how you feel about it <laughs> next year when you ask me happen, and i'm like gonna... <laughs> i fucking hate it i'm like what what <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna know <laughs> um great awesome well thank you for being here sarah appreciate it Welcome, Anthony. Back to the New Year's Eve special. Happy to be here. Answer the question is, uh, how are you feeling? So if you want to cool. go ahead and uh, hit play yeah. real quick. Let's see how the past version of me is feeling. Feeling really good, bro. I, mean, it's, uh, I feel extremely grateful after these past few days, like some time with the family, um, some time reflecting on this year. Um, Not how I feel I right now. I just feel very grounded in, in the good things in my life right now, so... Very, very happy to be here. Very well, happy. it's it's wild seeing myself from the past in a different place. I knew I have not been feeling the best recently. Um, I have been in like probably the lowest place I've been in like a few years. And so I had a feeling that I was going to see like this more like, um, as people would say, like golden retriever like version of me. And so it was it was it's quite endearing to see that side of me. Um, and I know it's still there, but. 
um it's like funny how life works in cycles like that where it's like sometimes you feel like that and sometimes you feel like how i feel now and so to answer that question how do i feel now um i feel like um that i am in like a state of change and i usually have used that term with more of like a sense of like the change is beautiful but now it's a little bit more like the change is very difficult like the change involves me like going deeper into myself and like shedding things not just internally but even like people or like concepts and constructs in my own mind and so um it's been very difficult and it's like it's very lonely it feels like sometimes and this feeling of like how long does this last how long does this feel like this when will i not feel like this like yeah so i'm in a very different place but this also gives me a lot of hope right now because i know that you know as time passes i'll be in another place and, I, and i'm very much optimistic about what that place may be amazing mm-hmm. the next question that you get is what are your top three favorite artists slash albums mm. right now mm. Oh, this is a tough question. I can't look at my Spotify like to tell you right yeah, now. Yeah, of course okay, you can, on. bro. Go for then it. Then I can give you that. <laughs> Clear phone up. Let me check real quick. <laughs> particularly obsessed with. Okay, hold on. You got it. So the Away first me, one, Anthony. actually. Away from me. Mm-hmm. And I've been wanting to tell you about him. I just want to make sure I'm Ooh, pronouncing yes. his name right. I'm excited. Because I work with him. Bro, oh, tell me how yes. I follow this this guy. Oh, is this sickish, man? Um, someone at work was like, yo, I, I know you're doing with Project Feel. Like, you should meet this guy. Oh, yeah. Josh, if you have my she showed me like his Spotify account. I'm like, he, he looks really familiar. Um, and I was like, I feel like I've heard this song before. Mm-hmm. All right. So his name is Josh, but his artist name is Ishmael. Um, Ooh, okay. The song that I know of him is called Bimmer Music. You, I feel it's a song I, that I saw with me. Yeah. I, I want to say right now, this is awesome hearing this because like I was still working at Apple at the time and I had just like discovered the music that he had released like years ago. He has dropped a lot of music this year, and he just dropped a song called 95 Punk, which I know for him was a big deal to share. Like, I know for him, it was like I was nervous if the world was ready for it, if people wanted it. And it's an incredible song. It's so uniquely him. And it's like so dope that a year later, like that person that comes to mind is an artist, that, an independent artist that to this day, I'm like looking at him do his thing. And I'm like, keep fucking doing what you're doing, bro. And he keeps elevating his game. So I love that. Thank you for putting me on you know uh laura galindo i've been pretty <laughs> upset. i actually have laura galindo's shirt in my bag um because i was debating wearing this shirt or her shirt so um i'm still a laura galindo stan i'm very i'm so grateful i don't know if this was before or after we shot the video for last place um but i'm so grateful that like it her friendship especially in the first half of the year of this year like really provided a lot of space for me to like explore myself and connect with someone else um like we would get together once a week to work on the music video and we would like edit together and it's the only time i've really ever worked on a project like that um and i loved it and i really like grew to cherish her the friend um and this is also making me feel bad because i actually have stolen her book and i've not given it back for like half a year and she keeps every once in a while like hey i'm gonna get that book back i'm like yeah yeah, i got you i got you so um laura you're gonna get that book back very soon i promise sorry oh and the last one my brother waves put me on to waves aka david he got he has Um, a great taste they he really does they're a group of like artists from i don't even know where they're from but they're called 99 neighbors mm, still go they're crazy. super they're they super still go dope. crazy visual, 99 crazy. Neighbors they kind of like I, honestly i still love all those artists and i and i very much appreciate that like my taste has grown like it's been expanded upon rather than like i'm into this but now i'm not into that you know what i mean like those artists that i named i still listen to them frequently um but if i had to choose my top three now scissors album i've been really bumping uh, so I really love that project. Um, this group that I met at a Safe and Sound showcase that I was shooting, they're called Down to Mars. Down to Mars, I was going to say, yeah. Bro, Down, uh, did you listen to them or no? Uh, not not after, but that they, their performance was great. Yeah, bro. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, no, I, I, I was like blown away by them. Um, and I was told that they weren't even a full like force, that they usually have like a bigger band. So um, yeah, Down to Mars, absolutely crazy. I went to a party the other day and I was talking to some dude about like um, economics and he was telling me how he's an artist and he's a musician and his brother, the musician. 
and I haven't been able to listen to his music yet, but I saved uh, what's it called the brother's music. His name is like Jeru. He's an indip- or he's an artist in Copenhagen. Um, it's spelled J E U R U, but he, he's really really dope. Like crazy. I was playing actually like I was sharing it with Christine, um, but he's super dope and. His brother, I haven't gotten a chance to listen to yet, which is the one I met, so I kind of feel bad. But um, he's crazy. Uh, another nice. artist, yeah, it's the other side of the world. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Um, last question is, uh, yeah, our, the last question is, um, are you lying to yourself? Uh, are you lying to yourself about anything right now? Mm, let's, yeah, and we'll let's, see. I'm nervous about this one. I'm nervous <laughs> about what my past said and hey, where we'll I'm see. at now. I can speak about this in a way that is true, but still broad mm-hmm. but oh, i've right. always been a very <laughs> indulgent human being i've always been one to enjoy something and then dive into it like kind of get lost in it yeah it's been like that with things like uh substances it's been like that with sex it's been like that with just like drinking mm-hmm. uh like all those hedonistic things like yeah even like creating art like a project it feel be. itself mm-hmm. like yeah it's been there have been a lot of times where i find myself just like like do you remember that there was like a period two years ago, now going to be three, I think, that we would wow. go out every single weekend. Like we would, oh, yeah. we we would were like party hard, every dude. single weekend. But like in the past, like two years, I think that I've learned a lot of lessons that have prevented me from or like I've just prevented myself from really diving into it um, to things that aren't good for me. But sometimes I wonder if I am still doing it just in ways that I'm not like super they're not so overtly like loud mm-hmm. that I mm-hmm. it's easy for me to know it, you know? Yeah, for sure. But uh, that's crazy. Um yeah, like small things like yeah, Wow, that's actually pretty crazy. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> expecting to have like such a profound listening experience. Um hearing my response to that. How did I feel watching that? That to me um like seeing the past version of myself kind of being aware of things and being like oh, i wonder if i'm like kind of fooling myself with this and then me like being now in the present being like yeah that's ex- exactly <laughs> what you're doing like you're, you're getting close that that was the feel that was my ultimate reaction watching that it's like i could see myself in a point where i'm getting closer to not to like a final point but i'm getting deeper into my understanding of self and I'm I'm listening to what I'm saying and it, I'm still like uh, it's funny because what I, I what I said before about what I'm feeling now like I feel like I'm kind of shedding and I feel like a lot of those things that aren't healthy for me or the types of relationships specifically that I was putting in my life or building around me um, weren't healthy in the long term for me and I there like I can tell that that version hasn't gone through what I've gone through in the past six months since I like left Apple and or left my my previous job and pursued Project Feel full time. Um, and so I, uh, it's pretty wild to like, it's wild and, and really kind of like reaffirming to see the growth, like the difference in mm-hmm. my perspective and like, oh, that's changed. Like I'm not in the mm-hmm. same place that I was. Um, I may have had to go through cycles a couple of times, but I am learning. I have like a deeper understanding, um, and I'm not fooling myself as much. Um, yeah. In regards to what am I lying to myself now? Um, I don't know. We'll see what I say next year. But now I kind of feel like I'm definitely lying to myself a lot less than I was here. I think I'm very much aware, like there's no questioning that I like my capacity to indulge has impacted me personally, impacted the Project Field team. Um, Like I just need to be more disciplined, more mature with myself, um, especially with my relationships and the type of relationships I build around me. so, yeah, I, I think that I'm, I wouldn't say I'm lying to myself now. I think I have more clarity than I did before, but we will see if this year actually plays out differently for me and how much I may be fooling myself now. But I do feel watching this like, okay, I am growing. I am moving, sure. you know. Great. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, well, thank you for joining us. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you for having me, yeah, Mr. Eddie Wise. Yeah. Kai. Hello. Hi. Hi, Danny. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good, good. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
Well, I was like, I was tempted to ask you how you're feeling, but that's actually going to be the first question. I want you to hear how you were feeling a year ago before you answer that question, okay? Okay. So, like I said, the first question is going to be, how are you feeling? So go ahead and uh, hit play on that video real okay. quick. <laughs> I'm not feeling too hot. Okay. Not okay. going to lie. But it's all right. I appreciate your honesty. It's yeah. okay, yeah. It'll be okay. Of course. Of course. Yeah. It'll always be okay. You didn't give much detail, and I didn't really want to probe too much last year, but like... I, yeah, I guess. Talk about how you were. Um, I mean, I definitely feel a lot better now. <laughs> like last year was my first year in New York, so it was pretty mm. rough from all aspects. But I feel like now I kind of have like my feet on the ground and I have different perspectives, I guess. So I, I do feel a lot better um, now in the present moment. And even when I don't, I feel like now I have the tools to, like, make myself feel better, you know? So, yes, yeah. That's great. Well, I'm glad. That's actually yeah. good to hear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the next step. Step. I'm reading this <laughs> thing now. The next question that I have for you is uh, what's most important to you right now? So you're going to go ahead and. Oh God! See what you said a year ago. It's the most important thing. Most in your life. important to me right and now. And that's a heavy question, but you know, um, take your time. <laughs> what's most important to me right now? I feel like I've really been focusing on being present. Mm -hmm. Like it's very hard for me. I disassociate a lot, mm -hmm. so I feel like right now that's Still like do. really <laughs> taking like importance in my life. Just being mindful of when I am you know disassociating and like trying to catch myself in the moment mm -hmm. and be like hey like shift that focus outward like don't be so much in your head yeah so i feel like that's important to me right now huh wow i mean i do i d still am working on like being present and all mm -hmm. of that but i feel like right now my priority is really just like getting back into my creative flow you know, mm -hmm. like ever since a pandemic happened, I haven't performed. I haven't like mm -hmm. really written anything. I haven't really done anything from my craft. And I feel like something's missing, you know, like mm -hmm. for the past three years, I felt like there's just something, you know, not there. Yeah. And I feel like it very much is that, mm -hmm. you know, like not creating in a day to day like I was before has really like affected me and who I am and you know, my everyday life. So I feel like this year I really want to just stop being afraid of whatever, you know, people might think and just do my art and do my craft and just be happy. Yeah. Nice. That's so, great. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. That's um the being present is like that's a that's a lifelong struggle. That's like basically enlightenment. So yeah. You don't you don't be hard on yourself. I'm glad you're still working on that for sure. Yeah. Um, for sure. But that's that's really great to hear. I'm glad. Mm hmm uh third question the final question that i'm gonna ask you is who is your best friend oh go ahead and play press my best friend right now my roommate fionella yeah my bestie best friend since 10th grade wow PR. <laughs> shout out to fio yeah i love you miss you so much yeah my roommate fio is still my yeah. bestie we still oh. live together you know i'm gonna miss her when she moves this summer mm. she's gonna move she gra she's graduating mm -hmm. from her bfa and she's moving back to pr so oh my gosh yeah i'm gonna miss her but she's still my best friend yeah very Always. much so that's good to hear how awkward it would have been if, it, if you guys weren't best friends honestly right <laughs> yeah <laughs> I told the same thing christine she, that's funny okay um that's great well thank you so much for being here Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that you're doing better and yeah. uh, still fighting the good fight. I appreciate it. Hustle. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Sweet. Welcome back, Eddie Wise, uh, to the I Feel You podcast. Yes. How's your day going? Um, I'm a little sickly today, so it's been a uh, it's been a ride, but you know, I'm doing I'm doing good. I feel good. I feel I'm still happy, so good well that actually leads us straight into your first question of how are you feeling wow oh you have to watch this right come yes come on it's <laughs> you on the other side of the <clears throat> this is my audition 
to be the host of our second season of oh, I Feel You. Oh, I'm gonna lose my you game. never did get that gig. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm still here. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> outro interview your exit interview basically oh to get you God, off the that's show terrible. <laughs> that's so bad. still here um welcome thank you thank you uh eddie wise hector sanchez jr the legacy latin okay. tiger oh, those names don't listen um, to those last few names. <laughs> first and foremost mm -hmm. how are you feeling how am i feeling um i'm feeling pretty good um I think the past few weeks have been a bit challenging, just trying to figure out where my place is in life. Um, I feel pretty good about a lot of the things that I do, but um, yeah, like I said, it's just been a little challenging. So just, you know, dealing with those challenges, but overall, um, I really can't complain. I live a, a beautiful life with a lot of beautiful people and, and I'm very grateful to be here. So I'm feeling grateful. How does it a lot of feelings in there. I didn't answer that question really. That was uh, also a bit dramatic, no? <laughs> well, according so, yeah. to Ryan, you can complain. Yeah, yeah, no. So let's hear the list. So, the, I mean, it was a. Uh, I don't even know what was happening around that time. Um, probably the same old thing that's always happening is just trying to figure things out. Um, yeah, no, that was that was yeah. I mean, I feel. feel great um a lot's changed in the past year a lot has changed i moved twice um i uh doing a lot more than i was around that time um yeah no life is good i think right now it's pretty i'd say it's pretty nice so feeling good yeah feeling pretty good yeah <laughs> that's good i'm happy yeah. to hear that yeah also, my skin looks much better. I mean, you couldn't get less sexy, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. So it's going to be a, just us flirting with each other That's the whole time? That's what I'm saying. Our interviews always sound like we're flirting with each other. Because we are. <laughs> it's like foreplay. Stop. <laughs> Cutting that out. The next question is, can we hear the last voicemail you received? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You have my phone. Oh, true. <laughs> Sorry. Last voicemail I received. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Let's see. It's probably it a not be bad. I um. Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Speaker. Ooh, nice phone case. Come on. Torrance, if you can give me a case, me a Torrance, if you can give me a call back when you receive this at eight five five. Six nine seven seven nine seven seven. I'm not sure if you received the notice that went out recently regarding your federal student loan. Whoa. But the relief deferment and forbearance program is actually about to expire. So I just wanted to give you a call because I don't want your pre-qualified status to change, especially <laughs> the qualifications for forgiveness or possible loan discharge. I think we get the idea. So um, you're going to jail. I didn't go to school. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school for like um, three semesters. And those loans are gone. Yeah, it was like 200 bucks. Loans. I paid that when I was like 20. Clearly not. Clearly so they love not. to call me because I think I was enrolled. Yeah. Um, it's probably another scam call, sadly. I don't get. No one leaves you voicemails. They leave you voice notes. Um, let me see what this one is. Um, okay. Hold on. What's this one? You can't go through them. It's the last one. This is the last one. Okay. Sanchez, this is a personal business matter and not a telephone solicitation. Oh. This call is regarding file number one six nine zero three one one. Again, that file number is one. I feel six. like sounds all dramatic. Of, I was gonna say I feel like all your voicemails are trying to get money. Literally, from you. <laughs> literally scam calls. You're like I have so many scam calls every year. I have so many scam calls. <laughs> That's, that's an alien. <laughs> that's actually Boris, my boss. Yeah, just have scam calls. There's nothing else that's special in there. Oh, that's really sad. Don't that last one sounded serious, though. That first one, that was like, they, they had a file number yeah. and everything. They're like, hey, yeah. you need to call they said, us. You're, you're going to jail. This is a business this problem. Is your file. 
<laughs> we found out that you're laundering money through the podcast called I Feel You. Even though it is sense, it's still money that you're laundering. I mean, money's money. Money's money. And you're giving it to me. Okay, that's enough. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Last question mm -hmm. is, would you say you're successful? Why or why not? I have a feeling I know what I'm going to say. It's loaded. Hmm. That's like kind of, that's a, a portion of why, that's like a, a small equation as to, or part? a small, uh, 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 I guess, part of the problem <laughs> <laughs> that's been happening past few weeks, months. Um, we it's weeks tough. Months. I Which think that it? I have a lot of room for growth. I think there is there are so many things that I don't know, so many things that I still have to figure out about myself, things that I have to build for myself that I still haven't put enough time into, like things that like I should be doing that I'm still not. And I feel like recently it's been hard to feel successful because of how much I feel like I should be doing or I need to be doing um, and how much I'm missing. So it's it's been it's that's like the biggest thing is like i want to feel very successful you know i want to feel like i'm doing everything that i can do i want to feel like i'm 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 achieving what i've set out to do and at, at every point and um it's been a back and forth of that because i i i think success is a lot of things and i think a big part of success is um being surrounded by people that you love and and those people loving you back and i definitely have that i have a roof over my head i can eat food as um, I can eat food every day, I can afford food. Um, I have a beautiful family at home that still loves me and still supports me in any way that they can. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a talented person. I have a lot of, of, of. Um, I feel like I have a lot of power within me. So I think it's just been recently about actually using that and putting it to good use and um, feeling that. So. It's back and forth, but at the end of the day, when I assess, when I sit down and I really think about it, yes, I am successful. In a lot of ways. Wow, cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like a lot of those things that I mentioned to start are like, I feel like it kind of, gonna always feel that way. It's like uh, still growing, still don't know everything, still have a lot uh, to do, still have a lot to learn about myself i feel like it's just i gotta get past that because that's just always going to be life you're always yeah. going to be finding things and learning things and discovering things so would you say um, that that challenge or that relationship with success is the same better or worse um it's i mean i'm still yeah i, I think success is a is a is an interesting word depending on how you go about it um because like I said, the second half was like spot on. It's like, you know, just being successful means like being able to survive and have people that love you. And then I think that's like the most important thing at the end of the day. Um, but I think everything I was touching on before is more so more so talking about just goals, things that I want to achieve. Um, and whether I'm successful at those things, you know, completely depends on how I go about it. Um, so I am successful, but there are things that I want to succeed at. So um it's a never-ending race i think and um yeah do you think you were successful at something in this past year that's an extra question i mean you're the host it's bonus questions. yeah I, bonus questions i'm sure you gave me bonus questions at the end of this too <laughs> yeah of course yeah i think i feel you've been a big success in my eyes the way that's gone the way that it's been consistent and it's been working i think that I think it's picking up and people are seeing it and I'm excited for more people to see it. So I think that's been my, something I'm most proud of and also new music that's coming. So that's cool too. Wow, stay there tuned is, for There is no music. Yeah. Which is nice. Dropping soon. Yeah. Well, I'm very proud of you mm -hmm. and you are successful. Mm -hmm. and I can't <laughs> wait to tell you every year when we do this episode. Mm, every year i'm gonna be doing this every year for every how long year. i mean you just said it's one of your biggest successes so now you can't i mean not the, the show but like not this episode specifically every year every year okay <laughs> well thank you for mm -hmm. letting me host you. yeah thanks for hosting and uh 
this is, episode this out? is still you're still currently interviewing for the for this position of host so Ugh. it's about three year process Who am I so. up against? me i mean i know your weaknesses so oh <laughs> <laughs> all right we love you love you bye, love you. bye. <laughs> bye. it's like we're getting off the phone oh it's <laughs> over baby <laughs>